What's up, guys? We're going to be watching about the FUDs, what happened in the FUDs, you know? Say about, what, eight feet from the house, and it just kind of curved all along here. David Scholl has lived here since 1988. The water didn't make it inside his home during the Memorial Day weekend flooding event back in 2020. Well, when that happened in 2020, I mean, oh my the water came about eight feet from my house. Some of his neighbors weren't as fortunate. I had two neighbors this is in west 20, of me, 20. a neighbor across the street, behind him, across okay. the street from them, next to them, and one on the corner, but that all got flooded out. You know, the water was above the electrical line, so they all had to get torn down, unfortunately. This is what it looked like back oh then. God. The water was about two and a half feet high in some sections. Damn. Martin County administrators applied for FEMA grant money and used wow. it to purchase homes at high risk of flooding in the future. There's a house right here kind of even with that house. Uh, the houses were torn right down. Here too. Now the county is moving to phase two of the project, a new outfall or drainage system so the water has somewhere to go. The reason these homes flooded yep. was because they there is that. no outfall. So when water falls here, it just keeps filling up like a bathtub and there's no drain we have designed and permitted a project to install a new outfall for this good hmm. news for those who are still here i just keep my fingers crossed <laughs> hope for no nice. rains like we had in 2020 good job guys keep it up and officials are waiting for one more permit before they start construction once it's completed they say that water will finally have somewhere to go yep reporting live in hope sound angela rosier wpbf 25 news okay guys you guys see that video Let's get people right here happen, guys. Love you guys. Peace out.